He had five points and he said that he was going to sort out the protocol. The protocol, the legislation is currently going through the House to sort it out. It was, of course, his former leader, Tony Blair, that has even said that the protocol and the Good Friday Agreement cannot exist together. It's impossible. One changes the Constitution of Northern Ireland through the back door, removing Article 6, the Acts of the Union, without consent. It also uh, holds us in a, inside Brussels with the ECJ looking over our shoulder. Both of these things... Keir Starmer never mentioned. He said he was here three weeks ago. He was. I was in Dublin and he was here. But the optics of this are very bad for Keir Starmer. He went to Dublin first, then he came to Belfast, and then he releases this statement in the Irish Embassy. He couldn't actually get this any worse than he really is. It's as if he's really trying to agitate the unionists. And the unionists, of course, are the people that are refusing to go back into government in Stormont because they are saying that there is a constitutional change, that the consent uh, that was built inside the Good Friday Agreement has gone. So I don't know what PR machine Keir Starmer was working with, but it obviously didn't work very well for him. And as the day has gone on in Northern Ireland here, more and more unionists are very angry about what, it, what he has said and what he is doing and the fact that he has done it there. There's also problems, of course, in and around the common travel area. It, is, it has been agreed for the next few years, but the problem being is that Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland aren't both in the same union. The common travel area was brilliant when we were both in the EU, or we both weren't in the EU, but that now means that European citizens that have the free movement with inside Europe can come in through Dublin, come across a borderless checkpoint into Northern Ireland, get on a ferry, and arrive in Great Britain. Keir Starmer says he's going to uh, contain that free movement of people. Well, then that means that we're going to have to have British citizens in Northern Ireland showing British passports to get into, well, Britain. So he wants to make all these grand gestures and, and say all the right things to all the right people. But it's here in, in Northern Ireland that just those few weeks ago, unionists in Northern Ireland were saying how great it was that the Taoiseach, the Irish Prime Minister, was defending Ireland and they were looking Keir Starmer to be a British Prime Minister in waiting and to defend Britain and that you can argue is exactly why Boris Johnson got the landslide that he did. It wasn't because of how he saw Brexit, it was because of people thought that he was standing up for Britain against the EU.